Right, so um, in my last video we made tags using the oxide papers and so in this one I thought I'd show you how I make some envelopes and decorate those. I'm going to be decoupaging with napkins and um, the footage that you'll see with me decorating them with the napkins I filmed a couple of weeks ago before I went away. Right, so um, they're fairly straightforward to make. Um, so I'll show you how to do one basically. I'm just going to um, cut that edge off because I don't want such a big border. Probably won't be very straight, but I can tidy those up at, um, afterwards. It is a little bit windy. Sorry about the camera shake. I can see it moving. And over there. Uh, yeah, not very straight, is it? Look at that. But I'll tidy that up in a minute. Um, now, the, the trouble is with uh, one whole page is at some point one's going to be upside down. So it's up to you what you want to do, whether you want that side to be upside down or that side to be upside down. So I've ended up with most of mine, the front's upside down. So. Um, I will try and do some so the front is the right way up. So I'm just going to fold that over there. Um, right, so uh, I'm going to round the corners. Writing's the right way up on this one. Let's put those in my rubbish pot. I always have a um, an old ice cream pot that I use for my rubbish. Because generally I normally work in the front room, so I don't actually have a bin handy. So you... right, that's that one. And trim the edge up so that they're even. It's a bit windy, I think it's blown about. It's better, isn't it? So I'm not going to uh, stick them down. Right, so what I thought was I might use my punch board for this one. So let's have a rough measure. Uh, Five and a half by six and a half. Uh, so I'm going to have to uh, chop it down to five and a half by five and a half, I think. And a half that way. That's five and a quarter that way. Didn't measure that very well, did I? Or 
in the quarter. So I think we need to chop a bit more off this way really. Hopefully that will be right. Five and a quarter that way. Five and a quarter that way. Hopefully it's straight. But we'll see. We'll see. So five and a quarter is start at two and five eighths. Uh, want that to be the top. Can't remember which way round I have to start. So we line it up with two and five eighths. Punch. So there's the score line, you line that up with the point, little pointer, then you punch and score the line and do that all the way around. It's a diddly one, a little diddly one. It's all the little fingies, comes out the bottom and So I'm now folding over each score line and burnishing it with the bone folder. That actually comes with the uh, envelope maker. There we are, making a cute little envelope. I am now going to uh, go straight into uh, decorating the envelopes using napkins uh, to decoupage onto them. I've got some napkins, some of them are ready cut, just the bits I want to use. Um, I think, which one was it? It was this one. I was gonna Oops, come back here, come back here. See how blow it is. <laughs> so I think I'm going to put um, the dragonflies on here. And I think it was, yeah. I'm going to um, get my water brush out. And... Going to am I in frame still? No, I'm not. Not really. So I'm just going around the edge of the flower, and that makes it easier to get. come out so I need to put something on that I think so I'm going to take off the bits because I actually want it to go around the flower I don't want that square edge really do down there. I don't think I did actually. Ooh. It's all sticking to me. 
does that. Everything all sticks to me. Can I do that bit? No. Right. Put them in the rubbish pot. Take that off. It's a bit flat there. I'm not sure if I can just get a bit of a rough edge. isn't it? And it's all stuck to my fingers. Can't get it off. So I'm just going to put him on there. I'm just going to use my print stick or my Yoohoo, sorry, to do that. It's getting a bit low. It's getting low. doing it this way this time because um am I still in shot just about because um I don't want to wet the uh oxides because it actually sorry about that motorbikes going up gets too bad I'll obviously have to do a voiceover but I'm trying not to next door you can hear noisy oh no, I'm not paying attention now Glue stick. A scruffy old bit of uh, thing needs a bit of a clean. To leave that one for now. Let that one dry. I was going to use a bigger one. Right, I thought we'd, um, we'd use this one on here. I thought it's rather nice. Um, it's just deciding how much of it I want to go on here. I'm actually thinking maybe I might go all the way and do that or I'm not quite sure if I want the whole thing on there really or most of it anyway uh, there's my brush so Let's go round here. Don't think I want that one. I kind of want 
him. So, oh, it's escaping. supposed to be holding them down but one's blown away I'll have to retrieve that in a minute uh, go down here rid of this border. Um, let's see, let's see. Ah, that looks nice, doesn't it? a little bit of flower at the bottom. We'll lose some of the dragonfly, but yeah, that'll look nice, won't it? Let's see if we can at least start to stick it down. Right, new glue. I'm just uh, making sure all the little edges are stuck down and then uh, I will trim off the bottom. Be careful not to cut the envelope otherwise you'll chop it off. Oh yes, I like that. Let's just see if I can... I like that one. Just... Oh no... I've done it upside down. I've done it upside down. I've done it upside down. Try it. Like that. <laughs> Wonderful. So, after doing this the wrong way, I've now cut it so that it opens on the side. So I've cut that off, cut that off, and when you fold it over, it will flap that way. So it's gone a bit shorter, but I think it can do as a side envelope type pocket. Uh, just need to stick it down and decorate it. So I have already stuck that one down, haven't I? Uh, oh, I was going to get my cosmic shimmer glue. Right, I'll be right back. So yes, 
so cosmic shimmer glue um, which I've decanted into a little um, fine nuzzle I also um, have it's called tattered lace detail glue which is it says perfect for die cutting um, I bought this from um, hobby crafts here in the UK I've also put that into a fine line bottle and it's it's really good for detail and I might try and get some more of that but the cosmic shimmer is is good but it is very runny um, but they both dry really quickly so um, I can get a better result on those I'm going to round my corners on these Oh, missed it. Pulled it out before I did it. That's it. I've actually, like Barbara does, of oh, 49 Dragonflies, she uh, cuts it down so it's a bit easier to get in. Um, I'm not going to get around the corners because I've chopped it off. Silly me. Uh, I think that'd be right. Bottom. The bottoms are rounded. I do find sometimes you get a funny little I don't know whether it's the way I put it in here. I'm not sure. I always seem to get a little tiny. Oh yeah, that's a bit better. Not as brilliant as it could be, but you know. So um I'm gonna use my tattered lace one actually. I can get it out the bottle. Which is another problem. Let's see. Let's see if I can get the cosmic shimmer out. This one's no better either. Oh, oh, I'm getting a bit. I notice there it looks a bit of a funny colour. Uh, let's see if I've got a spare bit of rubbish. A funny colour. Let's state that. Let's be trouble. Silly pins gone rusty. my fingers. I hate glue, really. I love glue, but I hate glue. And I'm just always getting in a mess with it. Yeah. That's the dog next door grumbling. It's probably grumbling at his ball. He does that. Hear it or not. You can hear the pigeons, I think. They're always making noise. So, yes, there we are. That seems to be okay. Clean that one dry. This one's dried. 
I thought that's why I thought I'd use this one because it's stuck all the way. Not very well, really. It's a bit too wide. But, yeah. Let's put the pin back in. Probably go rusty again. Right, um, how to decorate them? Gee, I don't think this one needs a lot. But I did find some lace. Which I thought was pretty because it's got like a pink, pink hue to it. Yes, that'd be nice along there, wouldn't it? I don't know whether to have it on the flat. Sorry, probably out of frame again, aren't I? Hmm. No, I think I'm just going to decorate this side because I haven't decided what I'm, whether I'm going to do the back or not yet. Yeah, that's quite nice. That's my scissors. There. I can't remember where I got this pink one from, but it's a lovely colour. Let's just trim that off. Probably pack, pop back over that side because I don't know, it's on the left, so right-handed I'll put it over on the right so for a protect time sticking on here I'm waiting for him yes further down as well. Just a bit. Is there anything coming out? Not a lot. And it's all gunged up again. As much as it's a good glue, it does annoy because it gets all gunged up. Now then, uh, let that one dry for a minute. I think I want something all the way across here. Let's see what I have. Um, hmm. Quite white, aren't they? These are the ones I bought. These ones that Inika gave me. Um, that's just an empty wheel. No, maybe we could. Um, do we want that sort of lace? Mm, that's a bit too much, isn't it? A finer one. I like broader anglaise, but I'd have to chop the edge off on it. Hmm, I'll think about that one. Let's have a look at this one. This one's double sided. So it would look nice both sides. I can do it so it will go over there and over there like that. That'd be quite nice, won't it? Maybe we'll use that one. Put them out of the way. Put 
2019. Uh, right, which is the right side? overhang a little bit like that like that so we'll stick it this side first actually be easy if I do that really won't it the um, crease Comes through a little bit through the holes. So while I was away, I did a little bit more to these um, these two. I um, uh, used my Oriental Lady stamps. Paper uh, So this is this one, and this is this one. So I added some uh, washi stickers, and I found um, a little uh, fan uh, in my stash, and uh, added some washi tape and um, added a stamp uh, from my stash as well. I think it comes from um, Nick the Booksmith's, uh, one of her kits had, had some stamps in it. Uh, just cut that out with my pinking scissors. On this one I added the stamp and some washi tape Uh, this washi sticker I was going to put on the dragonfly one there, but um, I'm showing you the brushos envelope that I decorated as well while I was away, and um, I added a dragonfly, which I think comes from one of the Artie Maisie's kits, Dragonfly Dreams. Uh, I found another fan, and I fussy cut a hummingbird out of one of my bird books and I did that with the flowers so I think that one's more or less finished this one I just added the um, stamp from the, from the stamp pack and I'll carry on decorating that one I think 
I'm going to, uh, I've got the backing off eventually. I'm going to pop him down here. You think? I thought it might look nice there. Uh, yeah, I think we'll call that one done. That one over there. That one over there. These are all um, Chinese buildings. Got some nice, nice pink ones. to choose now to choose which ones I quite like this one because I like the trees being pink there's a bit too much pink on that How about that one I think we'll go with that one shall we now to get it off now 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 are you going to play ball it. There's some tweezers. There we, are. there we go. Stuck to itself. Here I've pulled out my stamps that Inika gave me. Uh, I've got them in different packets of various types. I've pulled out the butterflies, birds and flowers. Now I'm just going to add some washi. This one's a sort of orientally looking flowers on it, which... Uh, I thought were quite nice with the stamps. The other, the other half of the tape I'm going to be putting on the back. There we go. Turn it over. So I'm going to hunt through my stamps, auditioning them, see which ones I like. I was hoping I might find a sort of more orientally looking one. What about this one? Hmm, quite like that. I think I might go with that one instead. Let's put those over there. to see if we can find something to go underneath it. I've got no postmark thing stamp. I had to uh, cut the camera off there I'm afraid. There's a lot of um, building work going on next door and I you just I couldn't hear myself think. So I found this um, label and I've stuck the stamp on the label. I've added some washi tape and now um, I'm deciding well, I like this pink ribbon and um, where I'm going to put it. I'll end up putting it down the side, I think, in a minute. I don't think I wanted it along here because it um, made the stamp look, well, it stick out really, and I didn't like the look of it. Yes, it's still very windy. <laughs> there we go, hi, 
end up putting it on there, I think. Hmm. Okay, this that side overhang a bit. So I just thought I'd give the lace a little bit of a trim and I popped a little bit of washi that I had uh, left over on the back and now I found um, a pretty buildings washi and I'm going to add that to it as well. These are oriental buildings. Um, I've got quite a few washi tapes now. I won't show you my collection because it's, it's a bit, getting a bit silly now. So I really do need to use it. Uh, I ended up just using the two buildings on the right. I'm just going to take the other two off. And uh, I'll find my... Uh, my little collage journal and uh, I'm going to pop them in there right just going to uh, sit that there for a minute while I stick this in here somewhere I think girls having so much fun I just had to uh, edit her out I'm afraid she was laughing so much I'm just going to whiz through my uh, fussy cutting which is pretty awful anyway so hopefully you won't have to suffer my terrible cutting. So I think we'll put that one there, finally cut it out. Sorry I didn't want you to see my awful Fussy cutting, I'm afraid. So, uh, what's happened to my glue? I'll come back, come back. board gone. I think it's stuck. Right, I think 
some cool that done. So I think I'm uh, really happy with the way they came out and um, just want to say thank you for watching and please come back again soon. Bye for now.